Alright, so this time I want to show you how good this engine starts up with the gas. I will just use this filter here. I didn't make a better filter yet. But today I want to figure out the consumption of this engine, wood consumption, with this gasifier. So let's start. And what I've got now is a new fan. This is a, this is a mattress inflating device. And what I've done is I've put a variable resistance on it. This is a 30 ohm 100 watt resistance. And so I'm going to show you this. So I turn it on. So this is 30 ohms and it still runs, but there is a very little um, air coming out of here. Because I want to have an idea of the consumption of this gasifier design, I will just measure out how much wood, uh, wood chips like this uh, fit into this bucket here. It's a 10 liter bucket. I recall you that my gasifier has a 10 centimeter in diameter tube with a 6 centimeter in diameter reduction. And the cone is about 10 to 15 centimeter high. Alright, so this is one kilogram and 60 grams. I have let the gasifier warm up for about 16 minutes, uh, but I think I could considerably reduce this uh, heating time. As you can see, the engine starts very well, but uh, I just have to get the right gas air mixture. After two minutes, the engine stopped. I could start it again, but then it began to make some noise and stopped again. Oh, 
my regulator is broken here it doesn't move as it should and the engine is blocking here so I decided to measure the wood consumption without uh, the engine only with the fan and so I I put uh, the fan on maximum power through all the testing here I waited until the gasifier was empty so I could see the red hot coal on the bottom and then I began filling it up with the wood from my bucket So we'll just see how much wood there is left here. I used a total of 700 grams of wood in 29 minutes. Assuming that wood has an energy density of 16.8 megajoule per kilogram, this equals about 12 megajoule of energy. The total power input was 6.7 kilowatt. This is more than the power output of my engine that has only 4.5 kilowatt, but the gasification process has not a 100% efficiency. So we will see later if this is sufficient. I also tried to compare the flame colors of filtered gas and not filtered gas. Here I turn down the fan. But then I turn it up again to prevent the fire to become too cold, which would uh, decrease the burning gas production. You can see that there is not much color difference between the filtered gas and the not filtered one. I recall you that my filter only uses wood chips as filtering material and I will have to improve this. The orange color could come from the hydrogen burning. I've seen videos in which you see HHO gas burning and it makes an orange color flame. At the end I tried out a mix of coal and wood and the flame became, became bluer and then I put pure wood back in and you can see that the flame becomes orange or red again and then it became blue again because there was very little uh, wood left in there it was pretty much turned into charcoal and this gives this blue flame Later I opened the cylinder head of my engine and I saw that it had soaked in wood chips from my filter. One wood chip was stuck in the valve and one in the carburetor. And this last one blocked uh, the regulator. So the carburetor was dirty and contained some tar. Here I'm washing it out with acetone. 
Opposed to that, uh, the transparent tube uh, was only slightly yellow, so this makes me think that tar sticks better to metals than to plastic or wood. I will have to improve my filtering system. I also just wanted to show you the efficiency of wood chips production. So my tractor here has a power output of about 20 kilowatt. And I'm filling uh, a trash can of 80 liters in only one minute here. One trash can contains about 12 kilograms of wood chips and doing all the calculations you will see that the energy contained in these wood chips is 160 times greater than the energy that my tractor had to uh, produce to make these wood chips. So you see it's a very efficient process. So anyways I hope you all enjoyed uh, and I'll see you in a future video.